Hi, my name is Asha Al-Ahmadi and I'm a curatorial assistant. We're standing here today in front of the monument of Victor Hugo, which the museum acquired in 2020. It's depicting the prominent French author, who was well known during his lifetime for his commitment to social issues. After Victor Hugo's death in 1885, it was decided that a monument was going to be built in his honor. And the winner of the commission was none other than Auguste Rodin, the sculptor who was so skilled he was once accused of casting his work from the model's body directly. The author and the artist were introduced by a journalist, which allowed Rodin to do the very first portrait of Victor Hugo in 1883. Here we see Victor Hugo unidealized. Rodin depicts him in exile, seated amongst the rocks with his arms outstretched as if in an attempt to calm the waves. The figures around the author changed as Rodin continued to work on the sculpture. Today we see two women who are a result of Victor Hugo's literary productions. Victor Hugo remains one of the world's most prominent authors and Rodin remains a sculptor who was so skilled his work was believed to be a cast made directly from the model.